Hey, y'all. Casey here. As I've said before, I love stories. Fiction, nonfiction. I really like stories that I can see myself in. It's not a total necessity. I like plenty of stories that uh, have nothing to do with me, that, that I, I simply am, am not a part of. Um, however, I very much like a story that I can see myself in. It helps me process things, it helps me maybe escape, uh, but as a trans woman, it can be uh, very difficult to find stories that I can relate to or that, that tell my story, that tell the story of a trans woman. Even rarer than that are stories where a trans woman is dating a man. They're surprisingly few and far between. Uh, not only are the stories hard to find, but even just finding examples of real life couples, uh, similarly difficult to find. And this is not to say that there, there aren't any examples out there. Um, this, this is not to say that there are literally zero stories that are, are, are telling this story. However, uh, it is very difficult to find. Rather than just complain about it or lament about it, I've decided to talk about it. Before I, I can really get into talking about the relationship that I find myself in, though, um, I feel I should uh, talk about my sexuality and my journey to figuring myself out. That journey has been a long one. <laughs> It has been by no means simple or easy or straightforward. I have dated guys and girls ever since I was a teenager. However, even when I was a boy dating boys, I did not accept that I was queer. I was very confused. There was a whole bunch of reasons why I, I just couldn't accept that part about me. Certainly it wasn't helped by my experiences in the queer world. Um, I didn't have many positive experiences in the queer world. And that was thanks both to straight people and other queer people. Being with a boy as a boy didn't feel right to me. Being with a boy as a boy made me feel dysphoric, made me feel icky. And that's not because I don't like gay guys or think there's anything wrong with that at all. It was purely a me thing. I just didn't feel good in that situation. And that was because it made me feel dysphoric, right? So being with a guy as a guy, like amplified this thing I was dealing with regarding my own masculinity and femininity and, and all this. And, I just didn't have the tools or the words or anything to really figure it out at that time. Certainly being trans was like not even an option growing up in the Midwest. Uh, so that, w uh, that didn't even cross my mind. I just knew that I would be attracted to boys, but then once I was with the boy, didn't feel good. Fast forward to post-transition. Turns out I definitely like boys. Being with boys doesn't make me feel dysphoric anymore. In fact, it feels very, very right. Uh, but I wasn't able to figure that out until after I transitioned because I needed to get me right first before I could figure out how I related to others. Once I figured out that I could be with boys and feel okay about it, that led to me dating a whole bunch of boys. A whole lot of bad experiences. <laughs> There were boys who didn't want to kiss me in public. Boys who didn't want to hold my hand. There were boys who would tell me that they wanted to date me because they were experimenting. Boys who would ask me to top, which is not inherently wrong. However, once I had said no and they kept asking, that didn't feel very good. There were lots of other experiences that I can't really talk about on YouTube, but suffice it to say that they weren't pleasant. Basically, 
nothing about those early relationships resembled anything close to a healthy and loving relationship. I regret that I let this happen. However, those experiences did make me pretty misandristic, which is to say, I didn't really have a very high opinion of men. Thankfully though, that has changed. I now have a very healthy relationship with men. Um, misandrist no more. <laughs> that is primarily thanks to my current boyfriend, Brandon. Dating guys post-transition has come with all sorts of pros and cons. But one thing that I have struggled with is my queerness. Me being queer has shaped my life to a great extent. When I'm dating a boy though, I feel a little less a part of the queer community. I feel a little less accepted by the queer community. This is particularly tough because something that I've learned is that no matter who I'm dating, the world sees me as being in a queer relationship. If I'm dating a woman, the world generally sees me as being in a lesbian relationship. If I'm dating a guy, the world generally sees me as being maybe in a gay relationship. Regardless though, I don't get to be straight, basically. The world has decided Casey doesn't get to be straight. This has led to a whole bunch of strange feelings and thoughts and having to work through a lot of different um, a lot of different ideas and issues. Where I've landed for now though is that I'm part of the queer community, but I'm going to be part of the queer community on my own terms. And if people don't like that, well, tough for them. My hope is that by putting myself and my relationship out there, I'll help move the needle just a little bit. Visibility matters. So here I am putting myself and my relationship out there. I think one of the things that keeps there from being more examples of trans women dating guys out there is the stigma that men face when they date trans women. There are all kinds of ways to make sexual orientation complicated. However, I think that it really comes down to whether or not you are attracted to people that look like guys, people that look like girls, people that look like neither, or maybe both. Gay guys like dudes. Gay guys, generally speaking, like people that look like dudes. Straight guys don't. Straight guys, generally speaking, like people that look like girls. If I walk into a gay bar, most of the guys in there are not going to want to sleep with me. Of course, there are levels and nuance to all of this. Like, maybe you're a gay guy who is only into twinks, or maybe you're a straight guy who is only into sporty girls. You might be into tall people, or short people, or people with big butts, or people with broad shoulders. These are all secondary nuances. It's not the title of the film, but maybe it's a subtitle. It's like, my sexual orientation is Star Wars, A New Hope. Which is to say, lesbian with a preference for butch women. I think that this is something that is so misunderstood, and my hope is that the more that it gets understood, the less of a stigma there will be. I also want to touch on the stigma perpetuated by the trans community. Chasers are a real thing. I have interacted with them, and it is not fun. One example of me interacting with a chaser was when I was living in Queens, and I was in a Target, this guy was following me through the store, finally caught up with me, grabbed me by my arm, pulled me in to tell me that I know what you are and I'm into it. Here's my number. Come and basically tried to like take me with him. That did not make me feel good. That did not make me feel safe or desired as a human being, that made me feel like I was a object 
for this person to do with as they please. That being said, every man who shows any interest in a trans woman is not a chaser. For those who don't know what the word chaser means, chaser is a word that's used to describe people that fetishize an aspect of some group of people and uh, treat them as sexual objects. Chasers don't see these, these people as people, but rather as this one thing. They don't see or treat people as humans. They see them as sexual objects uh, for them to interact with and get pleasure out of. Again, chasers are a real thing. But far too often, I see trans women labeling any man that shows any interest in a trans woman a chaser. As if it weren't already hard enough being trans. This kind of blacklisting makes it all that much harder. It's almost arbitrary use creates a fear in other people, and especially in men, who might otherwise want to get to know us. I, for one, hope that this practice stops. All of that aside, it's been a long road, but thankfully I am in a loving, healthy relationship with a man. If you want to see some of our adventures, check out my Instagram. The link's in the description. Who knows? Maybe I'll even have him on here someday. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time.